Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to write unit test for OSGI service. I will be writing the unit test case in the same way how I am following for the other modules. The only difference is OSGI service has a developer-defined methods. Here I have a demo service which basically has three methods. So I'll explain each method while writing test case for it. So let's generate a test class for this. Generate and test. I need all three methods as well as setup. Create. So a test class has been generated, but as I have already explained, we have to extend this test class with AEM context extension because we will be using AEM context object to get most commonly uh, used AEM objects. So I have created an AEM context object as well as the service object which I need to write unit test cases. So let's understand this first method. Uh, what this method is doing, this method is returning a list of the title of all the pages. So the variable input is uh, the page. Basically what it will do, uh, it will iterate all the child pages of a given page and put that the title of those pages in a list and return as a list. So I mentioned like I'm calling this method unit test. This is my object of my service and then get pages titles. This is the method actually. This For this I'm writing unit test. But here I need to pass a page and that page should have child pages as well. So how I can create the pages. Now this AM context comes into picture. Using this AM context, I will be creating a dummy pages. So let me create that. Let, let's create here AM context dot create dot page. So there are number of ways of creating page. So let's choose this third one page path template and title you can put anything in template because we are not actually creating these pages these are just objects so you will be seeing i created three pages one is this page at this path and two other pages at this path so these two pages are the child page of this page reason being if you see the path this page is at en AM US EN and this is under EN so that means these are the child pages so I will be needing this page so let's create a global variable for this page page okay page so let's import this page okay so now what will happen whenever any method execute any test method execute this before each method will execute every time and these three pages will be created and the, I have this child parent page reference so let's pass this here page so what we are doing now we are calling this service this method I created the object of this OSGI demo service and using this uh, object I am calling this map method and by passing a page object which is basically this page object okay now what we can check now we got the list this list okay what we can check we can check how many pages mean the list size as well as we can check the title or uh, title or the name of that page just to cover all the code so you will be seeing here uh, calling this method so I got a list of titles of page title so what I'm checking okay this what is the size of this because it has a child pages so it will be having two child pages means the size of this list will be two and I'm checking pages dot get zero means the first what is the first title means the page first page title so it's a first child as I mentioned here first child while creating this page okay now let's see the another method so if you're checking this method what I'm doing, I'm giving a path and resource resolver based on that path, it will get that resource and it will be adapted to as a page of that resource. Correct. And it will iterate all the child pages of that uh, page and it will return the list of pages. Right. So again, we have to pass a path this path basically this should be a path of a page which has some child pages. So we have already created this. You will be seeing here this page already having two child pages so we will give the path this path at this path we have this op page okay so let me write that so let me call the list again and this time this list is of type page pages unit test 
dot now we'll call this method now we have to pass in this if you will see we have to pass a resource resolver and the path means path of the page parent page so resource resolver is available using am context so what will we do am context dot get resource resolver is already there this am context provide this object and let's pass this pay this path because we know at this path we have a page and it has two children's because we are creating this we are creating these pages so now let's assert this so what we can check again we can check how many what is the size of this means how many pages are there we can check what is the title of either first or second or what is the name of the page either first page or second page so you can add assert either two or three so I'm adding three assert statement here. I'm add, adding using assert all. Basically, you can write all your assert in a one go. What I'm checking first, what is the page means size? How many pages are there? What is the title of the first page? Is the first page and what is the name of that first page? So name is this one, child one and title is the first child. So that way you can check all the these you know or you cover all these methods now let's say the third method it's a bit different so what we are doing we are passing a path as well as resource resolver this path at this path will get a resource means some resource should be there and in that resource it will add a property called updated by and what is the value of this whatever the logged in user so right now we don't have logged in user because we don't have AEM but because we have resource resolver that resource resolver will be having some unique you know, user ID. So basically, when you write this, you will always have admin. Okay. So let me write that. So let me write that. So let call that method. Dot updated node. We need resource resolver again. Let pass resource resolver using this, and let let's pass the same uh, path. We have a page on this path. So you will be seeing it is an error. What is that? Just hover it. So it will saying because this this method is throwing an exception. So you have to add that uh, is a test as well. So let's add it now because this method, if you see the original method, it is returning a node. So either you can use add assert here, but that will be a bit long, long text. So let's uh, take that node. Okay it we don't have import statement so let's import okay now add a s assert so what we can check what we can check we can check what property we have added here okay so let's check here so what i'm checking assert i'm saying okay admin is the uh, property added by admin because the resource is always having admin for this test so node dot get property updated by string get string because this will return a object mocked object so i need the string for that so this it will check the updated by if you see in original method it's a uh, resources over dot get user id in test it will it will be the admin who will be you know having that resource resolver in test test environment so now let's save it and let me run this test class it should be here okay let me close this now original class and let's run it okay you will be seeing two method are passed means the first one is passed and the second one is passed but the node update method is failed and it is saying null pointer exception what is that so if you see I explained earlier this am context am context has a different way of writing for the different apis if you don't write hand anything it will provide you a sling related apis resource related api but in this in this method we are using jcr api so you have to uh, you know create this am context using jcr mock so what you can do resource resolver and i'm calling jcr mock so now this context will be having you know you can use the uh, JCR related API as well with this uh, context AM context now let me run it again let me run this with coverage now 
now all the method has been passed so you see for if you are using any jcr related api you have to use you have to create am context using appropriate resources or what type if i check uh, coverage now so this is my file this is my service if everything has been covered 100% three methods covered all the lines has been covered if i click on this you will be seeing here everything has been covered right so this way you can write unit test case for ogi service the way of writing unit test is exactly same the only difference is in ogi services you will be having all your own methods but in other modules like a uh, uh, servlet few methods are already defined when module defined like do get and do post so the way of writing is exactly same i hope you understood if you have any question please do comment